Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a new edition of the Daily Debate. In tonight's show, we're going to be focusing on climate change, a very decisive issue that is uh, impacting and affecting all the continents in the international community. We're going to be uh, talking and focusing on the climate change file, also focusing on the Egyptian efforts regarding the climate change. This is in light of Egypt uh, presiding over the COP27 summit that will be taking place next November in the Red Sea resort of Sharm el-Sheikh. But before we start doing that, let's check out some of the stories making the news today. And we'll start off with President Abdel Fattah Sisi, who received the former French President Nicolas Sarkozy, who is spending a holiday in Egypt. The meeting was held at El Etahadeya Presidential Palace and was attended by Foreign Minister Sameh Shoukri. The president welcomed Sarkozy, who is visiting the country with his family, expressing appreciation for his former contributions to strengthening bilateral ties. President Assisi commended the current positive trajectory of the Egyptian-French relations on all levels. Also, President Abdel Fattah Sisi received today the delegation of the African Peer Review Mechanism, APRM, headed by its CEO, Professor Edward Maloko, in the attendance of Foreign Minister Sameh Shukri. Presidential spokesman Basem Radi said that during the meeting, President Sisi praised the role of the APRM in supporting the development efforts in the African countries, enhancing democracy principles, and following up the implementation of sustainable development targets within the Africa Agenda 2063. The President also stressed Egypt's support to the mechanism as one of its founding countries and welcomed the launch of the APRM's report on Egypt. The head of state expressed keenness on fostering cooperation with the mechanism within Egypt's strategy to provide citizens with a decent and safe life, a matter which he said embodies through health initiatives which aim at improving living conditions of citizens. For their part, <clears throat> pardon, the APRM delegation expressed appreciation for Egypt's serious steps at the political, social and economic levels, especially in the fields of youth and women empowerment. They also hailed Egypt's efforts in boosting the African joint cooperation in various domains. Also, uh, the presidency's spokesperson, Bassem Rodi, said that President Abdel Fattah Sisi received today the U.S. Presidential Envoy for Climate, John Kerry, and held the first Egyptian-U.S. Working Group on Climate Change. Now, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sameh Shukri, Minister of Environment, Yasmin Fouad, and the U.S. Ambassador to Cairo, Jonathan Cohn, took part in the meeting held at El Etahadeya Presidential Palace. Radi said that President Sisi welcomed the visit of the U.S. envoy to Egypt and the first meeting of the Egyptian-U.S. Working Group on Climate Change as uh, one of the results of the last round of the strategic dialogue between Egypt and the United States. President Sisi expressed his aspiration to continue consultation with the U.S. side on climate change issues during the coming period within the framework of the partnership between Egypt and the U.S. and in preparation for the World Climate Summit, COP27, due to be held in Sharm el-Sheikh next November. Ladies and gentlemen, let's check out this report regarding uh, President Abdel Fattah Sisi receiving John Kerry at the Tahadeya Presidential Palace, and we'll be right back. The presidency spokesperson, Bassam Radi, said that President Abdel Fattah Sisi received on Monday U.S. Presidential Envoy for Climate, John Kerry, and held the first Egyptian-U.S. Working Group on Climate Change. Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sameh Shukri, Minister of Environment, Yasmin Fouad, and the U.S. Ambassador to Cairo, Jonathan Cohen, took part in the meeting that was held in the Tahadeya Paris. Radi said that President Sisi welcomed the visit of the U.S. envoy to Egypt and the first meeting of the Egyptian-U.S. Working Group on Climate Change as one of the results of the last round of the strategic dialogue between Egypt and the U.S. President Sisi expressed his aspiration to continue consultation with the U.S. side on climate change issues during the coming period within the framework of the partnership between Egypt and the United States and in preparation for the World Climate Summit COP27 due to be held in Sharm el-Sheikh next November. For his part, 
carry stress on the confidence of the U.S. side in Egypt's leadership of the upcoming climate summit and their keenness to enhance joint cooperation between the two countries in this framework in order to advance international efforts to confront climate change. The U.S. envoy also praised the real seriousness of the international community on the part of President Sisi towards the work of the international climate and green transformation which was reflected in Egypt's efforts at the internal and international levels through the participation of the President in the summit of heads of state and government on the sidelines of the Glasgow conference last year. Earlier in the morning, Minister of Foreign Affairs Sameh Shukri and U.S. Special Presidential Envoy for Climate, John Kerry, announced the launch of a U.S.-Egypt climate working group during a joint press conference following their talks in Cairo. The group is a joint endeavor to advance bilateral and multilateral climate goals ahead of the upcoming UN's Conference of Parties on Climate Change that will be held in November in the Egyptian Red Sea city of Sharm el-Sheikh. During the presser, Shukri, the COP27 president-designate, said that he and Kerry agreed during their meeting on continuing coordination between Egypt and the U.S. on climate-related issues of mutual interest. Shukri added that the U.S. plays a pivotal role with regards to the global efforts to address climate change, not only because it is the biggest exporter of emissions, but given its major role in leading developed countries' efforts to support developing countries in handling the global phenomenon. Shukri stressed that Egypt is also keen to empower youths and civil society organizations working in climate change, given the important role they play in such a field. In terms of bilateral relations, Egypt's top diplomat said his meeting with the U.S. envoy touched upon work areas of common concern, including renewable energy, underlining the North African country's efforts in this respect. He asserted that Egypt possesses promising potentials which enables it to become an energy hub, particularly with regards to green hydrogen and solar and wind energy. Furthermore, Shukri said that U.S. companies can take advantage of investment opportunities in the Suez Canal Economic Zone in addition to discussing other work areas in which Egypt aspires to intensify cooperation with the U.S. Kerry arrived in Egypt on Sunday for a two-day visit to meet a number of Egyptian officials and business representatives to urge continued and increased climate ambition and to launch the inaugural meeting of the U.S.-Egypt Climate Working Group.